down, you know what I'm saying? Graphics, icons, and all these things. This guy, when he talks to me, it's always wrong, wrong, wrong. Remember the uh, lawnmower man? Access denied, access denied, access denied, access denied, access denied, access denied, access, denied, access granted. This dude never has access. It's always denied. He's always wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that. He's always telling me I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. It's never fucking right. Back in school, this dude's like, Rob, man, you need to get a job. And I'm like, well, you don't have one. You know what I mean? So I get a job. Then this dude gets a job. Then, you know what I'm saying? He's doing some little scandalous shit on, at his job on the side. You know what I'm saying? Acting like he's doing better than somebody else because, you know what I'm saying? He's taking money. You know what I'm saying? From the business and shit. It's called embezzlement in my book. You know what I mean? But that's cool. Dude ain't got no kind of guilty conscience and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a fucking bad guy. As far as I'm concerned. You know what I'm saying? Used to be one of my so-called homies. But here he is. You know what I'm saying? Acting like he's doing better than somebody. He ain't doing better than anybody. Every fucking thing this guy says is wrong. Try to tell me some shit. About, you know what I'm saying? How I should conduct myself in these social networks. I'm like, oh, for real? That's interesting, because as far as I, I, I recall, I had to invite you to come onto the social networks because you're anti-fucking-social. This dude is anti-social, okay? But you don't understand it. This dude is anti-social. He's been anti-social. He's always seeding, just, uh, you know, this, uh, I'm a hater. And then he goes around town, and he meets with these little people, and then he panders. Man, I think Rob's tripping nowadays, man. I think he's kind of wacko and shit, man. You know, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Always posting on this person's posts and shit. So what, boy? The fuck you talking about? I see you. I see what you post and shit. You kick back in the command. You perpetrate. You front. I fucking try to talk some... Man, this guy's just out there. You know what I mean? And he's got some people full. You know? So I told him, I said, okay, here, check game. You're telling all these people that you're successful. You know what I'm saying? You see the female, she needs assistance because her boyfriend, you know what I'm saying, by my standards, is a loser. Dude is a loser. But if you're so rich and famous, man, why don't you just help the girl out, man? Why don't you just help her out? Why don't you just buy her what she needs? Because I know you've secretly been in love with her for all these years. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know you've been in love with this girl, and that's why you're hating, man, because I... You know? I know you've been in love. I know you've been in love with this girl for all these years, and I know that's why you're hating, cause I, cause I posted. You know what I'm saying on her, on her page. You know what I'm saying? And I'm an intellectual guy, so when I speak my mind, I'm gonna post. You know? I'm not gonna be like one line or two line or whatever. I'm gonna say whatever's on my mind. You know what I'm saying? Some fucking try to say some shit about me. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, you need to cool it, man. You know, blah blah. Why? So you could just slide up in there, you know what I'm saying, and get your little post on. So I told him this. I said, man, I'm not even gonna post on this on this chick's thing. You know what I'm saying? I think she's cool and all that. But you know what? I'm just gonna sit back. I'm gonna watch you post. He says, but man, I only post every once in a while. And I'm like, but you know what, man? You weren't even on the internet, on the Facebook, or the MySpace. You weren't even on it. And then I was like, yo, man, why aren't you on Facebook? And what are you telling people? Oh, well, uh, man, fuck Facebook, fuck Facebook, fuck Facebook. For years, this dude said fuck Facebook. And then I had to ask him on the phone, man, why aren't you on Facebook? So finally, he comes on Facebook. Then he gets on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? I got like 500-something friends, you know what I'm saying, on one site. 5,000 friends on another social networking site. This guy, he claims to be the extrovert. But he ain't got too many friends on the internet, okay? Because what he claims is, is almost never true. So, you know, he got a little something just for legitimacy purposes. So he's got a couple little things that turn out to be true, but most of the time, 90%, what I know of him, is just all fake. It's just a fucking disguise. Dude wears a fucking mask and shit. So anyway, he finally gets up on the social networks. Then he starts to try to tell me about my conduct. And I'm like, hey, man, you know what? I would have never said anything about my job or my career or any of these things had you not been trying to call me out and challenge me back in the day. Back in the day, you was always trying to tell me I should be doing something that I'm not doing. Okay? And then I figured it out. Wait a second. If I do something that I know this cat can't do, he's just going to turn around and find something else. And then something else. And something else to pick at. Because he's always picking and nitpicking and nitpicking and nitpicking and nagging. Just like a little old bitch. That's what he does. Some old bitch shit. Okay? That's why I tell people. That's why I'm in people's faces like, yo, man, this is what I did with my career. 
I'm gonna keep talking about it. Cause when I was back there with y'all, y'all was like, Raw, man, you could be doing much better. You could be doing always hypocritical, cause none of these people were doing shit with their lives anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like dude was embezzling money and shit, you know what I'm saying? But he's telling me I gotta do better. You know what I'm saying? I won't even go into the other activities, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep that classified and shit. You know what I mean? I don't wanna implicate anybody. But the point is, man, is who the fuck is this dude to talk? You know what I'm saying? He comes from the hood. He didn't have a whole lot of money. You know what I'm saying? He figured out that he could embezzle some money. Then when he got one little step above his real friends, he's like, oh man, y'all need to be up here with me doing all this shit. And we're like, nah, man, we don't want to work in IT. We don't want to be an IT dude sitting behind a little IT deck, you know, doing little IT shit. Now, fuck that, man. I told dude what I wanted to do. And I accomplished my goal. And then dude hated on it. Then he's like, oh man, you acting like a little old school boy and shit. You acting like a little kid and shit. Got this little money now. Dude don't even know how much money I have. He doesn't know what the fuck. I told him, I said I had a government job. Then he's like, well, you ain't even doing your government job right. And I'm like, really? Nigga, fuck you. Nigga, you ain't got a government job. You ain't never had one. How the fuck you gonna tell me? His strategy is always the best strategy. He's always telling people in his little clique and shit how his strategy is and how I'm always doing shit fucked up. And if, you know what I'm saying, I knew what I was doing, I'd be doing it his way. This motherfucker's always running his mouth about me behind my back. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's doing. Okay? He's always saying this shit. So I told him like this. I said, look, man, I know you love the little girl. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to post on her thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to post, man, because um, I know about your history with women, and I won't go into your relationship or whatever, you know what I'm saying, that failed. But I see now, because you got a failed relationship, now this girl, you always loved her and shit. You know what I'm saying? You always loved this girl. And then I happen to post... You know what I'm saying? On her thing, you don't like the way I be posting on her shit regularly. You know what I mean? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to post on her on her thing. I'm going to sit back and let you do your one little post a year. Put your, put your little one post up there per year. Okay? And then, when she got the money problems and shit, since you're such a big baller, since you got all this money, why don't you go and buy her all the things that she needs in her life? Okay? Why don't you help her out, man? Because you got all this money. You big IT dude. Okay? You take care of her, man, because, um, you got, man, you the man, you the voice of reason, you know? Yeah, I'm the one who's self-centered, even though I open up my house on 23rd of Wetmore to all the homies and let them stay there rent-free, bitch-ass nigga. Yeah, I had the kick in it spot, huh? Where niggas has just come through, you know what I'm saying, and crash rent-free for years, you little bitch-ass nigga. Yeah, I'm self-centered, huh? I'm self-centered because I'm not bowing to you and I'm not living out there in your little world where you're the IT kingpin and shit. Nigga, you ain't no IT kingpin and I'm not a self-centered person and I'm not resentful and I'm not anal and I'm not anal retentive and I'm none of these things that you're fucking telling people that I am. And Facebook isn't all about hooking up with your uh, former, you know what I'm saying, peers and stalking people. Nigga, you're the only one talking about stalking people, little bitch. Fucking stalker boy, the fuck you talking about? You the nigga that sits in the background lurking and shit, doing your one little post, trying to be cool. Oh, I put out one post, cause that's how Facebook works. Nigga, I'll write a whole novel every fucking time I post, because that's what Robert Lee Taylor does. I am a poet, okay? And I speak my mind, and I express myself, and if you don't like it, then you can unfriend me, little bitch. Fuck you. And the little girl that you've been loving for all these years... The one that got the little financial situation, why don't you go ahead and pay for all that? Because you got the money to do that. I'm going to sit back, man, because I, you know what I'm saying? I don't want your drama. I don't want to be picking up on your girls because cause they're your women. You know what I mean? It's your women. You know? All your women. You know? Like the one that left your monkey ass, huh? Yeah. But you got another one in mind now. And when I'm rapping with her, I ain't doing it the right way. Because I, cause I ain't never doing it the right way. Because you got the method. You got the formula. It's always your way how to do shit, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to kick back, man, and you go ahead and you deal with that situation. I'm going to move on to bigger and better things. And when you see me making $10 million a year, why don't you take that little, um, that little chump change that you make and shove it up your motherfucking ass, bitch-ass nigga.